the next thing I want to do is to cut the interfacing of the clothes, the neck. So I'm simply going to place my neck on it this way. And remember that half is going to be used to join it together. So we are not going to consider this half. So is it I fold this half up? Using, I'll just measure out half and fold it up using my tape rule. I'm just going to trim it out. So after achieving this, depending on what I want, you can just measure 3 to 4 inches. I'm, I'm going to use 4. I'll just mark it round. So once I mark it round, I'll cut it out. So I've finished cutting it. This is the interfacing for both the front and the back. The next thing we need now is what we are going to use for the turn hop. So I already cut it out and how did I achieve that? I measured this part. Yeah. This is nine inches, but I'm going to use eight and a half since I'm going to use half to join the shoulders together. So half inches is out. So I'll, I'll use eight and a half. So you just get your fabric of any size, fold into two. You know, this is just one part. It's supposed to be double. So you fold into two, measure out your eight and a half inch i try to make it nine i'll trim it off later and also i measured five inches for the width because eventually it's going to look this way so i'm going to sew half inches in i'll be left with two inches on the shoulder as it turn up this way you can make your own two inches depending on how wide you want this part to look so i cut for both sides of the sleeve so this is the turn up for both sides of the sleeve so the first thing we are going to do now in sewing our clothes is to pick one of the side lay the other one on it this way Then we're going to sew down using the half inch seam allowance we put there initially. After sewing this half inch downwards, I'll also sew half inch on the shoulder. So I'm going to do the same thing for both sides, both the front and the back. I'm going to show us what I did now. I have joined all the sides together. This is it, the front and the back. I've joined it and I ironed it. Can you see? I also joined the shoulder. This is the shoulder. I joined it and I also ironed it out. So this is the wrong side of the clothes. And this is the front side of the clothes. Can you see it? So for the interfacing to stay and iron it out. I also joined the shoulder sides together. So the next thing we'll do now is that I'm going to open this up this way. This is the right side of the clothes. This is the right side of the interfacing. So at this shoulder here and at the shoulder here, I'm going to place it on each other this way. And then I'll pin it down. I'm also going to do the same thing for the other side. At the shoulder. The shoulder on the other side. I'll use a pin to pin it down. Then I'll sew, I'll sew it round. 
using half inch i'll sew it round i'll sew the neck round using half inch so after doing that i want to explain how we're going to fix the pocket i actually notched the side of the pocket here so i'm going to get the pockets this way this is the right side of the pocket this is the right side of the clothes so i'm going to place it at that notch side like this right side facing the right side i'm going to use just a quarter of an inch to sew it down a quarter of an inch so i'll do it for all the four sides you know this would be one of the sides for the front then the other side here i'll do the same thing where the notch is can you see the notch i'll place the the clothes front side facing the front side you can pin it down this way and then i'll sew quarter i'll do the same thing for the back too so after that i'll show us okay so i have joined the neck together This is the interfacing. When I, after placing the right side on the right side, this way, I sewed it round using half, and then I top stitched. And I ensured that my top stitching was to the side of this interfacing. I ensured that my top stitching was to the side of the facing of the clothes. Can you see this? But before top stitching, I knotted it round. Can you see the notch? So. After that, I ironed it out. So the only thing that will be next now is that I'm going to tack these sides together. The sides on this shoulder so that it won't be lifting up. I can tack it on this place, on the side of the shoulder. And I'll also tack it on this side too. I can tack it in other little places too, but the most essential part is on the shoulder. Once it's tacked down here, then every other place will be fit. But you can just... Do a little hemming around too. So that's that for the for the neck. So I ironed it out and this is what we have. Can you see? For both the front and back. Then the pocket, I said earlier, I placed it facing each other considering the notch we made initially. After that, after sewing it with one, with a quarter of an inch, I top stitched. I top stitched on the side of the pocket. So that means all this sewing, all the remaining seam, that little seam allowance of one quarter was facing the pocket. So I did it for all the four sides. I sewed one quarter, I sewed one quarter round, and then I top stitched. So you can see this side now, it's top stitched. The other side too, I did the same. Can you see that? I did the same for this side too, such that everything now keys this way. Can you see? Everything keys this way now. So this is what you have for this side. And the other side too. This is what you have. So the two, everything is set. So once you've done it this way, you turn it to the other side, the wrong side of the clothes. You turn it to the wrong side of the clothes and you take your turn up for the sleeve, your turn up. But the turn up is not going to be the front facing the front. Otherwise, it will go inside. So if once so, so far the turn up is going to come outside to the front, you put this turn up on the odd side of the clothes this way. This is the odd side of the fabric on that sleeve side. This is the odd side. So you place your interfacing on it like this. You know, I ironed out my interfacing. So you place it on it like this and so half inch downwards then you turn it up this way but this time around the stitching will be on the clothes not on the interfacing so after sewing quarter after sewing half of an inch straight downwards you turn it this way 
and make this side this side of the cloth to face the cloth itself and then you sew it down that's the top stitching part then you can now turn it up so i'm going to do that and show us now i'll do it for both sides i'll do it for both sides i'll take the turn up on this side too the right side of the turn up facing the wrong side of the clothes place it this way so half of an inch turn it this way top stitch top stitch on the dress itself not on the turn up i'll do it for both sides after that i can now place my clothes this way you know the turn up would have been inside so i'll place my clothes this way and use my one inch seam allowance to sew it downwards so when i get to the side of the pocket here when i get to the side of the pocket here after sewing it downwards this way one inch once i get to that notch side i'll stop and sew it inwards this way did you get can you see that when i get to one inch on this point here at that notch side i'm going to sew it round i'll sew it round this way until i get to the next one inch on this side here and then i i will use my one inch to sew it down so i'll do it for both sides and show her so what i want to do now is the the turn up and joining of the sides together all right so i finished the sewing i told you i was going to join this together the turn up so this is it I actually joined it together the hot side on the right side of the turn up i sewed it down like that round it so after sewing it round i top stitched it on the side of the clothes can you see the top stitching i top stitched it on the side of the clothes and then i flipped it upwards so when I, once i flip it upwards it comes to the side to the right side of the clothes this way can you see that then i did that for both sides of the clothes and it will look like this on the wrong side of the clothes so i sewed one inch downwards one inch straight down this way because there's actually one inch we used as the same allowance here so i sewed one inch down until i got to the point of where my notch for the pocket was so i stopped at that point and i came in and sewed it round this way until i got to that point again one inch at this point and then i sewed it downwards so i did it for both sides like that after fixing the turn up so i sewed one inch like that downwards i sewed one inch like that downwards so once i'm through with this this curved part is it that you make it small the way i trimmed it you see that i've not trimmed this side here look at this side this side is still one inch that i see it but this side i've trimmed it is it that you trim it very to a very small size on this side so that the place will not squeeze up or you notch and this is how you notch you take your scissors and just cut it in a bit this way so it won't squeeze up so just at that curve alone, not on all the parts of the clothes, or you cut it in to be very small. So that's what you do. So I'm going to open it up for us now to see. After that, I ironed it, I ironed all, all the sides. I ironed the sides. I tried to open it up so that the sides will form well. So you can, you can weave it, you can use your interlocking machine to weave it. And if you don't have one, you can just leave it like that. If you look at the side I not now, can you see it's forming well? It's not squeezing up. But if you had left it like that without notching, it will squeeze up and you might not like it. So this is the this is the gown. This is how it looks after sewing. So the last thing that I'll be doing now 
to finish up this clothes is to do the hem. I ironed it out, I folded it in using my iron to make it very smooth and easy. So, depending on the allowance you used at this edge here, that's what you are going to fold in. So, I'm just going to pick it this way now on the machine, fold it in, and sew it round.